Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new Aviation Jack with Joe. I hope you're doing really well today. So it's been highly requested that I film a settings video as the settings that I did have in my previous video are about two years out of date now. So it's about time that I do film a brand new settings video and that's what I'm going to do today. So um, let's get straight into it. We'll go straight into the general options and we'll go through the graphics uh, straight away. So my monitor is actually a 4K monitor. However, I only have um, a 2080 Super graphics card, which can run 4K. It's just if I'm using um, frame generation, I can't run this in 4K because it uses far too much, um, far too much VRAM. So for display mode, I've got it set to full screen, and then we've got it set to 1080p instead, as this is what I find works with a nice image um, and better VRAM. So if you are having struggles with your frame generation and your VRAM um, usage, then consider dropping your monitor resolution down slightly as this uh, helped me a lot. Uh, next up, we have the anti-aliasing, alias, I can't say that word, you know what it is, uh, what we have it set to. So I have it set to NVIDIA DLSS Super Resolution. Um, for me, this is just the better the better option. So um, DLSS is the AI super resolution and provides the highest possible frame rates and maximum graphics settings. So yeah, DLSS for me. Um, and then as for the super resolution, I have it set to balanced. Uh, that way you can get a good idea of um, performance, but also quality. Um, going down one then, N NVIDIA DLSS frame generation, I do have that on as we all know, uh, just creates a really nice smooth sim experience for me. I mean yeah sometimes you get a bit of ghosting and a bit of lower quality, however I find that the frame generation is just a lot better um, enjoyable experience when flying the sim without stutters and everything like that. Um, so going down one we have the AMD sharpening, I've set that to maximum because I like it to be on 200. Um, get the maximum amount of sharpness out of the sim, especially when using frame gen and DLSS where things get a bit blurry. So it's good for me to have that set on 200 and I didn't really find any performance impact. V-Sync I have off, um, sometimes depends on the day I have it on, um, but at the moment it is switched to off. Okay, so if it was on, obviously all of this settings would be available here, but they're not. Uh, okay, moving down, DirectX versions on DX12. Um, the reason being DX12 is that you need this to run, to run frame gen. It uh, does not work on DX11. Here we go down to the advanced settings. So, terrain level of detail is set to 100 for me, um, which I think is a decent amount of, um, I think it's personally a decent amount of terrain detail, um, especially for my PC spec. I am looking to upgrade my PC bearing in mind, so if I do that soon, I'll definitely update the settings video. Um, but this runs quite well for a 2080 series card, for a 20 series card, sorry. Every other setting is pretty much set to medium or high. Um, so off-screen terrain pre-caching is medium, terrain vector detail medium, buildings are set to medium, trees medium, uh, grass and bushes set to medium. It's just that fine balance in between. Object level details is set to 80. I didn't really find much difference between 80 and 100, and 80 just has slightly better performance, so I leave mine on 80. Uh, moving down again, so uh, volumetric clouds, I have to have that on high. For me, clouds are such an essential part of flying, where they have to look good because you're pretty much always flying through them. So high or ultra, um, without frame gen, I have them on ultra. With frame gen, I have them on high. Pretty much looked quite similar to me, uh, so it's fine there. Texture resolution is set to medium, and then four times for the anisotropic uh, filtering. Uh, texture super sampling is set to four times four. Texture synthesis is set to low. Water waves medium. Again, water, you see a lot of it, that's why I set that to medium. Shadow maps, terrain shadows, and contact shadows are all pretty much low. I don't really see a massive difference. Windshield effects and ambient um, occlusion is set to medium. Don't know what ambient occlusion is to be honest, but uh, medium it is. Uh, cube map reflections 192. Uh, and then everything else down here. So light shafts are medium, bloom is on, depth of field is medium, motion blur is off, lens correction off, lens flare is on, and glass cockpit refresh rate is on high. Uh, let's go through the other options. We have 
uh, the traffic option here, have it all off. Airport vehicle density set to 20, worker density set to 20 as well. All the ships and boats and stuff are all set to randomly 24. I'm not sure why it's on 24. Let's move that to just 20. I can't deal with these weird numbers, so just round it. There we go. Um, and then using generic aircraft models, AI traffic is off, off, and then traffic variety is on low. Obviously, this is just just depends if you're using online traffic or not. Data. So online functionality is on. Bing World Graphics Data. Uh, graphics, yeah, is on. Photogrammetry is also on. Live world AI traffic is off. Live weather on. Multiplayer off. This stuff here I don't really touch, it is what it is down here. Uh, flight model, don't need to that miss, miscellaneous, mm, accessibility, whatever. Cool, that's pretty much everything there to be honest with you. Um, those are the main settings. I don't really have, actually I'll have a look to see if I have any other settings in the Nvidia control panel that I can help you guys with. Um, manage 3D settings, we'll see if I have anything in the program settings no okay so yeah all of my settings are actually just done in sim so if you guys would like any of them feel free to obviously screenshot them if you're not on my discord already um, then I will there's a link in the description for it I'll screenshot all my settings and put them in there if you want to have a constant look at them um, but yeah apart from that that's this video done thank you all for watching I hope it helped with the settings um, and yeah, I hope to see you in the next full flight video. See you soon. Bye bye.